Hello everyone, this is Esso North Online Maths. In this lesson, we are going to solve this uh, indicial equation before us. Alright, so um, if you are new here, kindly consider subscribing to my YouTube channel at Esso North Online Maths so that you'll be notified anytime I upload a new video. So to simplify this, sorry, to solve this, ensure that their basis are the same thing. 9, 9 and 3. So 3 is a common factor of all of them. So let us write all of them in basis of 3. Good enough, the numerator is already in a base of 3. Over denominator can be seen as 3 power 2. Then you have power of minus 2x. Equals 1 over 9 is 3 power 2. 3 power 2 is 9. So we have 3 power 1 minus x. All over 3 power 2 times minus 2x is minus 4x equal to 3 power 2. From the laws of indices, whenever you're having division and the basis are the same thing, simply subtract the powers. So this can be 3 power 1 minus x. Division is minus. Coming here, we have minus 4x. Everything is 3 power. This is 3 power minus 2, sorry, from the laws of indices. 1 over 3 power 2 is 3 power minus 2. Okay? So we have 3 power 1 minus x minus minus is plus 4x because minus times minus is plus equal to 3 power minus uh, 2. So we have 3 power 1 minus x plus 4x is 3x equal to 3 power minus 2. From here, the bases are the same thing, 3 and 3. Automatically, the powers should be the same. Therefore, power 1 plus 3x should be equal to power minus 2. 3x is equal to minus 2. When this one crosses over, it turns to minus. So 3x should be equal to minus 3. In order to get the value of x, you have to divide both sides by 3. Divide both sides by 3. When you do that, x is minus 1. Because minus 3 divided by 3 is minus 1. And this is just the value of x that satisfies this equation. If you've enjoyed what you've watched, kindly consider subscribing to my YouTube channel so that you'll be notified anytime I upload a new video. Thank you for viewing and may God bless you. Bye.